Inside the metal wire, electrons are in constant chaos, scattering in every direction, colliding with the vibrating positive ion cores. On average, they go nowhere, no net movement. At the moment we connect one end of the wire to a negatively charged plate and the other to a positively charged plate, everything changes. An electric field appears between the plates, invisible yet powerful. This field instantly steers the electrons. A few get pushed towards the surface, spreading unevenly, packed densely near the negative plate and thinly towards the positive one. That imbalance creates something new, a new electric field inside the wire itself. And now, the electrons begin to drift slowly, draining charge from the negative plate and loading it into the positive plate, inching the system toward balance. But here's the problem. Once balance is reached, the drift stops. No field, no motion, no current. If we want the flow to continue, we need something to keep those plates forever unbalanced. That's where the battery comes in. In this animation, we're modeling it as a mechanical battery, a simple stand-in for a chemical battery, tirelessly doing work to separate charges and keep the current alive. 